today is Constitution Day. And uh, there, was a, there was a very, very major event in which the Prime Minister spoke and on the occasion of Constitution Day. For the record, this is the 75th year of the Constitution. And it's something we should take such pride in collectively. And we should rise over all political differences, personal differences, and take pride in the fact that we have, by swearing by the Constitution, by living through the ideals of the Constitution, ensured that India's democratic process is the most credible process, the largest process, and that our democratic ideals are stronger than ever. It is shocking that Akhilesh, Akhilesh Yadav opposed the celebrations of the 75th Constitution Day. And he said that we should celebrate, we should, how can we celebrate the day considering the kind of work the government did which had taken lives in Sambhal. Now we all know there was violence in Sambhal. But Akhilesh Yadav, tell me, where is it written that stone throwing is an individual's right as per the constitution? Instead of targeting the security forces, why don't you target the people who stopped the court appointed advocates commission from doing its job in Sambhal? Unfortunately today, some people believe that breaking the rules, taking the law into their own hands is a constitutional right. It is not. Rioting is not a constitutional right. Violence is not a constitutional right. Murder is not a constitutional right. Corruption is not a constitutional right. Caste politics is not a constitutional right. People who practice this kind of politics must ask themselves, how disappointed would the founding fathers of the constitution, how disappointed would B.R. Ambedkar be with the kind of politics which these groups have completely and totally sworn by these days. The problem with Rahul Gandhi on the other hand is worse. He says, I don't think the prime minister has read the constitution. Well, Rahul Gandhi waving a copy of the constitution in your hand does not mean you actually respect the constitution, disrespecting President Draupadi Murmu by deliberately, and the visuals are clear, deliberately not greeting her on constitution day, walking away, towing his back to her, appearing distracted during the national anthem, attempting to sit while the president and other leaders are still standing. Absolute arrogance, entitlement, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that kind of entitlement doesn't work in India. It should not even work in Italy, Rahul Gandhi. But in India, it won't. So, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that some people are not understanding the spirit of the constitution. Walking out of parliament is not respecting the constitution. It is not a constitutional right. Displaying an empty blank page's red constitution is not a constitutional right. Storming the well of parliament, throwing files on the chair is not a constitutional right. Tearing a copy of an ordinance is not a constitutional right. Overturning Supreme Court majority judgments to nurture your Muslim politics as Rajiv Gandhi did is not a constitutional right. Ladies and gentlemen, today we debate the constitution. Not the ideals of the constitution, but why some parties have become so negative. Negative when it has been proven that there lies about any political party, the BJP changing the constitution or overturning the constitution have been proven to be incorrect, false and fake.